setting up the Arduino Maker 1300. The first step in setting up the Arduino Maker 1300 is to configure the IDE to use the Maker board. To install the Maker board, navigate to the Board Manager by clicking Tools, Board, and Boards Manager. In the Board Manager, enter MKR into the search bar. Select the result Arduino SAMD Boards and then click Install. During the installation, you may also be prompted about drivers. Just go ahead and click Install. Otherwise, the Maker board may not be recognized. Now that the board is installed into the Arduino IDE, it's time to connect the Maker 1300 to the computer via a micro USB B cable and then configure the IDE to target it. It should be mentioned that the Arduino Maker 1300 comes on a piece of thick, anti-static foam and that this must be removed, otherwise the board may behave erratically. To select the board, in the IDE go to Tools, Board, and then look for Arduino Maker WAN 1300. The port needs to be selected as well and assuming that the Maker board was recognized by the system, it should be a COM port that has the name Arduino Maker. To test that the board is working correctly, we can load a Blink example that's already built into the Arduino IDE. One of the advantages of the Arduino IDE is that code written for one board will most likely work on all other boards in the IDE. This allows for easy migration from one processor to another with minimal code changes. To load the Blink example, navigate to File, Examples, 0.1 Base 6, select Blink, and then click Upload. If everything goes to plan, the built-in LED on the Arduino Maker should be blinking. Since this tutorial is concerned with the Arduino Maker 1300 WAN board, which has the ability of connecting to a LoRa or Long Range Network, also known as the Things Network, or TTN, learning how to communicate with LoRa module would be difficult and complex, which is why the wonderful engineers at Arduino have created a library just for this. To add the library, navigate to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries, and then search for Maker WAN, and then click Install. To be able to connect to the TTN, you need to know your device's EUI number. Lucky for us, the Maker WAN library provides an example that makes finding this information easier. To load this example, navigate to File, Examples, Maker WAN, and then look for First Configuration. Open the serial monitor and then upload the program. Remember that the EUI number is a unique identifier for your part and should be kept a secret. 